Howdy, y'all. Joe Hills here, recording as I always do in Nashville, Tennessee. And as you may have noticed, I am hanging out over here in Biffa's base yet again. Biffa, we filled his base with water. He filled my base with snow. I think that this needs to stop. I think we need a symbol of a new covenant where we promise to never flood each other's bases again. And so I've come here with all of this beautiful colored wool to create such a symbol. And uh, I'm going to be joined shortly by Hypnotized. Hypno, you here on the call? Oh, I'm right here. I'm coming through the portal now. Excellent. Let's see if we can see him. Oh, no. I don't have view distance set that far. Oh, <sighs> there he is. Well, that was horribly ineffective. Well, I, I don't. Where, where are you? <laughs> I'm way out here on this little island. I'm essentially at the edge oh. of normal view distance. I see you. So that way the rainbow will appear to be half shrouded in fog if he's on normal view distance. Oh, that is genius. I do my best. So, <laughs> essentially, normally a rainbow would have seven colors, but one thing that I've seen is some people just do the rainbow with six because indigo and violet are too hard to discern with the human eye anyway for it to really matter. And, oh my goodness, it took me forever to accumulate this much wool. So, anyway, we're going to have red on the outside here, and then orange, and then yellow. So if you're doing one of them acronyms, that spells Roy, as in Roy Rogers, or uh, Roy, what a large dog, then G, and Roig is not so much of an acronym, and Roig and that's even less of an acronym. And then we got this magenta, which kind of throws everything off. So, you may have noticed that on the far right end of my screen, I've got a little bit of a sliver of a schematic. Oh, and we should also greet Hypno. Hypno, oh. I left plenty of wool for you here in this chest. Oh, I think I found some orange wool. Outstanding. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start on the uh, purple wool here, and essentially... You will just follow me on the outside, if that makes any sense. Oh, sure, sure. And yeah, so, I'll go ahead and follow your lead. <laughs> six, seven. I'm so I need to grab the blue wool, not the orange. Mm -hmm. And oh, what I should have done is let me get some torches out so I can just set this up here so I can just plant that right on top of that. So then for this next one, I'm going to need five, two, three, four, five. The first part of this is going to involve a lot of counting, unfortunately. But uh, <laughs> once we get the first one done, it's just kind of following the lead. Right. So that's four. And then this next one here is going to be two. I have to admit, this is my first rainbow that I've ever seen or made in Minecraft. Oh, really? So new experience for me. <laughs> Outstanding. Well, I love to broaden horizons. That is... And if I can make them more colorful while I'm at it, then that's all the better. So let's see, this is going to be two, and then we have three. Now, this schematic that I'm using, you can't see it, unfortunately, Hypno, but for the folks at home, this is from mineconics.com, which is a place that lets you make conic sections in Minecraft. Um, little play on Minecon as well. So, very clever all around. Okay, so we got three, and then two, and then two. And then it looks like I'm going to have one... Two, one, one. Okay, I'm not used to... I'm wondering if I should just go down there and start off the other colors, too. Yeah, if, if that might be the most efficient use of your time. So you can just, I think that might. That's why I put them all on the ground there. Right. So, just take a little fall damage and grab some of these other colors and start working them up, too. Great. So why a rainbow? Did you already see that? I don't remember. Oh, um, well, uh, for those of you uh, in the audience, I'm not going to call out Hypno here in particular... But uh, for those of you who are less familiar with the Hebrew scriptures, or the Torah, it's actually just Torah. It's not Torah. Don't, don't say that. You'll just look dumb. Um, <laughs> for those of you who are familiar with the Torah, you would know that Yahweh created a rainbow as a sign of a new covenant to never cover the earth with water again after, uh, you know, flooding the earth and having Noah build the whole ark thing. And so this was his kind of new covenant with Noah. So, us promising to never flood Biffa's base again, I figured, why not, you know. If you're going to follow in someone's footsteps, the Hebrew Yahweh is always a good choice. So, I see. Okay. So, there is more to it than just the, other, a, other implications of what a rainbow could represent. 
Yeah, this is specifically a joke about not flooding bases. Okay, okay. <laughs> Just so we're clear. Yeah, this is not in any way some sort of like, uh, oh, British people are effeminate thing. Because anyone <laughs> who's ever seen me talk knows that I'm more effeminate than anyone. So, it's fine. All right. This is in no way any sort of hate crime or message of that type. <laughs> nor would I want it to be seen as one. Um, okay, so did you bring torches? I'm realizing it's going to get dark on here. Did you bring a bed? Mm, no, but you have a bed down here. We I have sleep a bed. in the same one. Can we sleep in the same one? Yep. Uh, it won't bring it to day, but we can set our spawn No, point. but we need day. Uh, do you have enough wood to make a second bed? Because we got wool out like crazy. Um... Yes, I can make a crafting table and then make a bed. Let's Outstanding. See. I need to get more wool while I'm down here anyway. I'm going to have to use some of your wool. Which ones would you prefer that I um, use? Let's see. I think we're going to be fine on the magenta, so that would probably be the the best one. Actually, uh, oh, the magenta? Uh, or actually use blue. We have the most blue, I think, yep. versus the amount. Because we're going to use more red than anything else because it's the furthest out here. Because I just don't want a creeper foreman on the top of this while we're, like, running back here to get stuff. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> I was inside you. <laughs> okay, so since I'm down here anyway, let me take a look at the us so far. Okay, I've got to hand it to the Mineconix website maker. This is... Okay, now I'm under a thing. But uh, now that I'm not under a thing, this looks great. That's going to be a proper rainbow, that's for sure. Yeah, this is this is legit. Um... So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and use yellow wool to get myself back up there to continue. Oh, that's a smart idea. Um, hmm. Oh, dang it. I maybe should have brought a bucket of water so that way I'd be... I have one. Oh, because, um, yeah, I'm trying to figure out how best to kind of climb back down on the other side. Oh, um, would you like to borrow it? Yeah, if I could, that'd be wonderful. Thank you. Oh, I, I took it back. Here you go. I have received your water gladly. <laughs> I feel like that in some sort of area of the world, that's got to be a greeting or something. Receive my water. <laughs> yeah. it's. <laughs> uh, so then you can just use whatever the next color out is for your ascent. Uh, I think that was orange. Um, you said we're going to use the most of red. Yeah, because red's um, the furthest out. Does that make sense? How much red do you have? I have four stacks. Technically, this should only take about three stacks. You have, so you have three I've, stacks of red on you? Oh, yeah, I might have all the red. Sorry. There's, yeah, there's only one stack in here. Yeah, it's, it's in my concerned. inventory, so yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Um, let me grab two stacks of this orange, and then follow you back up. And I got a great view of Biffa's base from up here, and so I'm thrilled because that means he's going to have a great view of our rainbow. <laughs> His base does look pretty amazing. Like, when you're there inside it, it's like, okay, it's kind of like a big open pit, but looking at it from a distance, man, mm -hmm. he's put a lot of work into that. Oh, yeah. And have you been down there where he's got the ender portal and it's, like, absolutely insane? Um, I don't know if I've seen the floor down there, like, he with my own new eyes. He timber but and, like, glowstone, and it's, like, super gorgeous. I've seen the videos of it, and it does look really good, but I would like to see it myself sometime. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're actually at the uh, apex here. Oh, yeah, here we go. So I've got I've got one more step up to go, and let's, let me count out how many wool that's going to be. One. Yeah, because now I need to kind of drop down one and then, like, plant a sandstone underneath it, if that makes sense. Mm-hmm. So this is going to be absolutely, you know, obnoxious. So I'll, I just get under here, and then I climb back up, and then I pick up the bucket, and then I put five of these. One. Would you like me to break this sandstone block ah! you here? Hey, don't fall. I held the shift button. <laughs> Minecraft does that quite often. Am I going to make it up to the top before all the waterfalls? No, probably Oh, no. So nope, the water's already halfway down. So it's you. not even worth it to try and just go back up it. Mm -mm. Wow, this is so big. Like, you don't appreciate it when you're up there. But this is, like, actually massive. <laughs> That's the point. I know. The bigger the better, especially when we're doing things to other people's bases. Oh, yeah, it goes into the cloud layer almost. That's actually good. That's what I oh. want, but... 
That's a good point. I don't have my clouds turned on. Let's turn those on. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're up there. Okay. So uh, I'm going to come up with the uh, red wool that I've got in my inventory. Um, do you have any scaffolding blocks if we need to come up again? Because at this point, we're going to have uh, essentially kind of caught up. That makes I sense. have 41 um, cobble. I don't know if that's enough. Probably not. <laughs> This is a, a radius of 48, I think. And I thought about doing the bands too wide, but I realized that would be very... Conf it'd be a lot harder to make sure we got it measured right, just because right now we can tell, okay, I put the red on top of the orange, you know? Yeah. So if you want to come back here, I'm going to kind of come past you. I'm holding shift. Outstanding. Okay. Hold shift like there's no tomorrow. <laughs> Hopefully day Minecraft after. doesn't fail on me. Yeah, I know. Oh, shift is the most unreliable key. So I, Okay, I'm, so here's a question for you before we go any further. You just used red to pillar up, so if we were to fall down, we need to come up one more time, what would we do? That's why I was saying, um, uh, do you have any cobble on you? Should I make a ladder and maybe put ladders up the side? Um, up the back or something? Um, I don't know how to... Mm. Maybe we should use the water bucket and make a water ladder up to the middle okay. and then well, do jump we down have... fill it up again. Yes, that might be the fastest option. So, um, unfortunately, though, i got to use the water bucket real quick right here to get down and do the next tier. So let me just do that. So I've got four, then two across. So I'm going to just set this um, right here. Then I'm going to drop down here and then place that like so. Ah, okay. Oh, no. I, sc I screwed that up. <laughs> yeah, that was literally the opposite of the way to do that. Oh, oh goodness. Man. Oh, maybe we should leave a pot of gold for him, too. I was thinking about that, but I was actually thinking that it would be funnier if the sign said, Sorry, no pot of gold. This is a uh, this is a covenant rainbow rather than a leprechaun rainbow. On oh, the plus side, we'll never cover your base with water again. I wish we had enough torches to do the entire underside of the rainbow like that, because that looks really good the way it's lit up. Well, it just so happens that I have a little over a stack of torches on me. Okay, well, if you want to put that in the chest when we get back to the bed area, I might go ahead and uh, implement that across the board. All right, here we it's go. It's a good thing yellow. Biffa sleeps through the night. Well, although he has a baby, <laughs> which, like, maybe he doesn't actually sleep through the night, but he's busy with the baby rather than, you know, busy logging in and bothering us. Yeah. Was While well, we bother him. <laughs> it's quite fortunate that he's, like... Oh, what is it, six or eight hours ahead of us? Yeah, so we don't as have to do this in the dead of night. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, you're throwing food at me, too. I'm like, what's this extra <laughs> popping noise? I've got enough dental problems as it is. I don't need to be in, unable to eat melon in-game. <laughs> what an additional yeah. problem to have. Melon is such a bad food. I'd rather you have some of my bread. Oh, well, thank you. Yeah, you get hungry so fast off that melon. Sorry, I know there's a lot of lame counting in here. <laughs> it's going to happen. Otherwise, you'll have, like, a lopsided rainbow. <laughs> Which is like, that That just says, we're not trying very hard with this particular <laughs> covenant, Biffa. Whoa, did you just take damage or something? Yeah, I had to drop down. Oh. I was just thinking about that again, the uh, lopsided rainbow. Yeah, we didn't really try that hard. We tried to make you a rainbow. But we we kind of gave up halfway yeah. through, because we, we were going to come back and flood your base. We're, if we flooded his base after putting in the rainbow, like we just finish up here and then we're like, oh, let's flood his base again. We're still awake. Forget it. Yeah. yeah let, why not? We changed our mind halfway through. We said flooding your base is too much fun. Because I never really saw the point of Aqua Affinity, and now I am sorely regretting that I have never seen the point of Aqua Affinity, because I totally <laughs> would have brought it if I had known. Hey, I don't think I'd do enough underwater stuff where I'd ever want it. Well, I don't. I wouldn't think that I would either. But now that I'm here, I clearly right. do want it. <laughs> it it clearly would be advantageous. Oh goodness, this is this is actually going to be the real hard part here, because I've got to go down more than one block. Kind of, dang it. Oh, that was not good. That was not the way to do that. Possibly. 
Um, I do have 14 yellow. Are we actually going to run out? or? Oh, I, I don't know. I think we'll make it. That's a, just the best stack that I have. Okay. I mean, worst case, we can probably run, get some. I'd just really... fill it in with cobble. <laughs> <laughs> I'd re- Is there any other yellow block in the game? Um, Gold. Yeah, we're really going to spend gold on promising Biffa not to prank him again. That's going to um, happen. Uh, pumpkins are kind of orangish yellow. Yeah, that's probably... And the, the melons are greenish yellow. Yeah, so that's <laughs> that's kind of a no. Yeah, so pretty much no. Well, luckily, we can just go put bone meal on the grass until we get some uh, yellow dye. Oh, yeah, right. So let's see. So we go down. So we went down two. And now we're going down one, one. Now we go down another two. So how'd your dentist thing go? Oh, um, well, I went in for two separate appointments in two days, so that was fun. I spent four hours on the t- in, in the chair, uh-huh. um, which was less fun. Um, <laughs> it's one of those things like dentistry is expensive. And I knew it was expensive, but I didn't really understand why until it took, four, you know, two people who had, you know, one of them is an actual dentist with, like, a doctorate in this stuff, and the right. other one is, you know, somebody who's been a dental, like, hygienist assistant or whatever for, like, 15 years. And, I mean, they were both sitting there for, like, four hours. So it's like, yeah, okay, so I see why this visit cost, you know, thousands of dollars. Um, so you you had your wisdom teeth removed? Is that what it was? No, I'm getting my wisdom teeth out on um, Tuesday. Oh, but, but it's um, because my wisdom teeth started pushing some of my other teeth. I had to go in, and mm. so this was just preliminary work before they removed my wisdom teeth. So, not, anything you wish to talk about? Um, well, I, I don't I, know. I, I talked exactly. a little bit about it in my videos. Um, but the big things were. That because I had insurance and an emergency fund, I wasn't completely screwed on this. Yeah, because, that's good that you had the insurance for sure. Yeah, because the insurance saved me forty five hundred dollars, and uh, the rest of it's still fifteen hundred, but which is like my entire emergency fund. And I thought about like dumping the emergency fund to pay for a computer upgrade, and uh-huh. I decided against it. And I'm kind of, you know, well, actually, I'm not kind of glad. I'm certainly glad I did now because I would have been in big trouble otherwise. Um, you For know. sure, yeah. So it's one of those things where it's like, well, you know, what do I need an emergency fund? I never have an emergency. Well, you might later. And uh, you'll be <laughs> glad you it's an emergency it. fund. <laughs> yeah, it, it's not four when you don't have an emergency. So let's see. I think this one goes five because the last one went four. Yeah, we're like one away from the bottom now. Oh, wow. Okay. Four, five. And then this last one here goes into the sea. Right, so are you just going to stop it right at sea level, I imagine? Uh, I'm going to go one in. Hmm. Just because it. Um, that's what I did on the other side. Is that a bad idea? You said, hmm, kind of. Well, the thing is, like, you, he'll have running water out here, and there's really no way to fix that other than going all the way down to the bottom of the sea floor and then pillaring back up to fix it. Well, not really, because here's the thing is he, he puts a uh, lily pad underneath it and then applies a bucket to the underside of the lily pad. That'll fix it. Oh, so, I that's, mean, a, that, that's actually a tip I didn't even know about. I just made that up now, but it should work, right? <laughs> Did you really just make that up? Well, I mean, I've been working with lily pads to build my barge, and I hadn't used them for specifically for that, but that was kind of my plan. Hmm, I don't know if that's going to work, but there's no reason it very wouldn't. Interesting. Well, because lily pads go on top of water, but you'll have running water in that spot where you want the lily pad. Yeah, you can put lily pads. Yeah, you should be fine. Or you could put a lily pad adjacent to that space, put a block on the, like, next to the lily pad, and then... And then but yes, that is... Okay, yeah, there you go. Like, there, there's a way to do this involving lily pads and me not being <laughs> completely insane. Somehow lily pads will save the day. Yeah. Don't don't let her tell you I said that. So right now, the, how steep this is, I'm taking about half my life just falling down. Oh, nice. I'm sure Biffa will appreciate your sacrifice. <laughs> I'm burning a uh, a uh, what is it efficiency two pick to uh, do this uh, underwater stuff here. So 
You're welcome, Biffa. <laughs> yeah, Biffa, we're actually doing you a favor. Here. <laughs> yeah. This is... We will never want to come back here and do anything stupid again. No, not at all. We will be so tired of this. Uh... And I'm just knocking out the cobble. And, uh... Putting the torches in. Which is completely chill. No one needs to stress out about... The oh, no, I did that wrong. <laughs> <laughs> ah! This should be so much easier. Like, it's hard to believe, but I'm actually good at this game. You know, just not, you know, a lot. Yeah, you can build this on your own server, people. Yeah, be obnoxious to your own <laughs> friends. Stop asking generic <laughs> me to get in over here. Uh. Make a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to build a, a rainbow. Mm-hmm. Okay. We'll call and it I the think, Covenant Kit. I think that is it. Great. I think I'm, we have a full rainbow. Cool. I'm just going through here, and um, I'm putting a bunch of extra red, which I'm going to have to destroy. Sorry. Um, so that's going to ruin your shot a little bit, but if you're trying oh, to... Oh, no. We'll, we'll do the, the proper shot later. That's fine. I yeah. just wanted to see what this looks like. Okay, cool. Yeah, because at this point, I'm just, I'm tired of dealing with that water pillar. Oh, I can imagine. Yeah, dealing with water is such a pain. High efficiency pick. Just be careful you don't take out the wool blocks. Yeah, I know. Yeah, so lily pad on the water next to running water. Put a block on the side of the lily pad and place water on, underneath the block. That is such a brilliant idea. Yeah. I never would have thought of that. Like I said, I've been building that barge, um, and I've been dealing with barge-related issues. Barges are very large. That's it's actually a portmanteau <laughs> of boat and large. I think it's mm. it's a bow large, and they eventually shortened it to barge. I'm making that up, but it's plausible. So it I'll, does sound very plausible. I'll leave it in. <laughs> so according to your schematic, how tall is this thing supposed to be? Um. 48 you... blocks to the uh, purple, so I guess it'd be like 50-something, 50 uh, 54, I guess, to the red. Uh, is that tall? So this, is, I, I this, don't, is, this is tall, yes. I don't, I don't know in Minecraft, like, because half the stuff I see in Minecraft is usually MC edited by Vetches rather than, like, player constructions. Right. So it's hard for me to gauge, like, well, I mean, I, I feel, it feels like something large but well i don't know you can build up to what 256 now so yeah. i guess in that scale it's not that big but as far as doing this on like a vanilla server you know without flying around and stuff i would say this is pretty large yeah and this took forever to accumulate the wool for i'd like to point out i had to build <laughs> my own sheep swamp just to be able to do this just breed them all and keep dying them yeah oh yeah well once you die them you can breed them with the colors. Oh, yeah, yeah. So you're not wasting a whole bunch of dyes, sure. Yeah, okay. So can you find... Oh, you're going to be too high up. I might try and find the middle point here and put a torch on the back side of that, just so that way the bow is lit. So that's going to be seven in, I think. One, two, three, four, five... Six. Oh, it's actually just the darkest block. I should have been able to figure that out. That's a really easy thing to, you know, be aware of. But you are right, it is the seventh block. Yeah, I'm thinking I might put it kind of up and toward the middle so it doesn't overwhelm the other ones. Whoops. Great, yeah. So that way, it'll be lit. Okay, wonderful. And then there's just going to be a bunch of red wool all over the bottom of the sea. <laughs> I don't think you... Well, do you got any projects that you need the red wool for, possibly? Um. Build a barn? I, no, this, this I built an entire sheep swamp for this. Like I, at this point, any excess wool is literally that. It's excess wool. Right. I'm just I just want to break the scaffold and, and be done with this. I've got I've got to get this book laid out. This pitfalls and penguins thing is just so much. Um, I because we're going to an event in Connecticut where we are guests because of this book being released at that event. And so we need to, you know, do that. Yeah. We need to have that <laughs> book there. 
Yeah, if you're guests at an event for a book and you don't have the book... Yeah, that's kind of bad. That looks kind of bad, yeah. That looks really bad. People kind of frown upon that. Yeah, they, they, they are just like, we are not going to turn these frowns upside down for you, fellas. <laughs> um, you, cause, especially because we've been working on this thing for three years. So, like, we just want to, you know... We, we've, got, we've got all the content, we just have to get it into book form. Okay, this is looking really good. Me, I think he's got it pretty well lit up over here. Yeah, it looks pretty good to me. Mm hmm So, why don't we, uh... Whoa! Okay. Oh, no! I'm okay. <laughs> uh... On my screen, you're kind of, like, shifting on a block still. Like, after you said, oh, no, and then you just drop down. Yeah, if I'm fine. <laughs> I just wanted to see what Biffa would see when he came through the portal here. Oh, that looks amazing. I don't know, maybe a little too round. Rainbows are round, aren't they? Well, well I, you know what I mean. Like, um, yeah, it feels like it could be more extended, stretched out a little, but it's still good. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. I mean, yeah, the fact that it actually, you know, looks like a rainbow. Actually, you know what? Let's tear it down and redo it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wanted uh, to make the red wool all TNT, so if he say it on fire, it would cause this massive chain reaction. Because I'm oh, really worried. That would be I'm really worried he's just going to see this and be like, that's going to flame. Oh, but remember, flame, fire doesn't spread indefinitely now. Oh, yeah, that's true. He could still oh, get a good bit of it. Yeah, I was thinking that he w it was going to take him a long time to break this all down with, like, even shears and stuff, but I forgot that you could just burn it down. But if he does that, he's going to have, like, random blocks just out there, not burned. Well, I'm going to say, like, this honestly looks pretty enough. That, that he might just keep it, yeah. Yeah, like, I like to make things that someone has the option of keeping, you know? <laughs> like, I actually really like the Winter Wonderland theme. Like, I, it gave my base a little bit more of a flavor, I guess. I don't know. I'm pretty happy with it. But So, anyway, I wanted to give him something that he could keep if he liked. Maybe you should have done Obsidian for the center, for, like, that really deep purple look. Oh, yeah, that would have been good. But, like, I kind of <laughs> wanted it to be more happy and light. I don't know. Uh, Lack of no, I don't think I'd ever use obsidian in any of my any of my builds for other people. Because that would be a pain to get rid of. Oh yeah, absolutely. Because I know that they would use it right back on me. Yeah. Oh, man. Okay. So, do we want to just put the signs directly on the wall, or do you want to set up like a little sign board? Because I have materials to do that as well. I kind of like just putting it on here. Just on it, okay. If that's okay with um, you. Yep. Let me go ahead and toss down a few signs. I brought. I think six. Excellent. Probably more than enough. Yeah, so I'll take three, and oh, then you can oh. have three. Oh, here, here's one back. Got it. I have two. And the extra wool, what would you like done with that? Um, If you want to just uh, hand that to me, I'll stand right here. Sure, I'll just toss it down to you. Oh, I think I tossed you something else. Um. Okay, well, once I'm done typing ah. the sign... This yep. rainbow the is a symbol of a new covenant between Biffa and his 2000 and America. We will never cover all your base <laughs> with water again. I have one more line. Ah, uh, what should I? You promise? <laughs> yeah, I uh, mean, yeah. <laughs> We, I mean, I, I can't think of anything witty, but... Yeah, we we promise. <laughs> so, uh, if you want to... Um, oh, I guess we should probably actually put our names on this as well. Yeah, one of our signs definitely has to have our name on it. Um, well, so do, I have two do, signs, but I'm probably only going to sign my name. Well, do we want to put, like, hypnotized and Joe? So, like, oh, have that's... an and on the blue, and I'll put my name on the purple? I got a little bit of a shameless plug in there, too. <laughs> <laughs> You know, just in um, case he needs to know where to find my side of this. 
<laughs> oh, I'm sure he'll probably put it in the video description. Oh, yeah, I hope so. <laughs> this way he has it for reference. Excellent. So I guess all that's left is to uh, break down our little camp here. Mm, yep. I don't really need the bed. Well, I'm actually, you'll probably take it anyway. Yep. And uh, I think he had left one of these torches here. I added the other just because I'm paranoid about stuff. Well, um, actually, do we want to put under there because of the si because of the uh, signs being legible? If he comes here at night, I want him to be able to see. Yeah, it's looking good. I think he's gonna really, really appreciate this. I hope he does. Dang it! I keep every time I swim out here, I go under this dirt part, and I'm like, <laughs> oh, there goes my beautiful shot of the rainbow. <laughs> I'm a winner. But yeah, we're definitely, let's uh, make ourselves scarce before he gets back in British morning time, which I think is oh. like soon at this point, just in case he logs in before work. Yeah, that's true. But uh, anyway, uh, <laughs> I, I'm thinking I'm ready to sign off if you are. So. Yeah, I think I'm about ready. All right. It's been uh, lots of fun. I hope Biffa really enjoys this. Yeah, I hope he does too. Thank you very much for <laughs> joining me, Hypno, and to oh, all my viewers you. out there. Till next time, y'all, this is Joe Hills from Nashville, Tennessee. Keep adventuring. And see you later, guys. Peace. Wash your hair, whatever. Brush your yeah. teeth. What, whatever it is that he says. Yeah, brush your teeth. Keep an emergency fund. Get your wisdom teeth x-rayed. You know, all that. That's, that's totally going in my video, by the way. Oh, I'm keeping it in mine, too. <laughs> okay. <laughs>